What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 20 minute stretch for sore muscles. So grab your mat and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here today. I'm so excited that you're taking the time to start incorporating stretching. Mobility is so important to your workouts, to your lifestyle, to your posture. So continue to incorporate these things consistently. I promise you're gonna reap the benefits, okay? So today is a total body stretch. If your muscles are sore, if your muscles are tired, or you're just looking to get a little bit more feeling today in your muscles, let's go ahead and get started, okay? So big wide stance here with me. First, big deep breath in. Okay, we're gonna take it over, shifting your hips to the left, hand on your right leg. Two, one, let's go. Great, take your fingertips and reach over away from your left hip. Good, come back up top and let's switch. Big stretch. And you're gonna find today that we're gonna hold positions, okay? So we'll be switching too quickly. Just want you to relax and feel your muscles lengthening. Good, take it down in the front. Now I want you to roll it over this time. Same stretch. Good job. Big reach. And roll it down front again. Let's go ahead and switch for the last time. Good, anyone else really feeling their obliques open up? Good. Perfect, roll down in the middle and let's stay right here. Relax your hands down to the floor. Let your head just kind of hang nice and neutral down into the middle. Good, throw your hands on the ground. Let's lift your heels up, just stretching out your feet. Good, you can turn your feet out just a little if you would like. Good job, and place them back on the ground. Relax your back down again. If you wanna grab onto your elbows, you can do that. Go ahead and walk your hands over to the right side. Grab onto your right foot. Good. And walk it over to the left side. Grab onto your left foot. Perfect, you're gonna feel this stretch in a lot of different places. You've got the back of your tricep and your shoulder. You've got your obliques, your low back, your hamstrings. Good, hands back in the middle here and let's bend one leg at a time, okay? You need to scoot out just a little bit further, that's okay. Big bend and shift. Okay, you can keep your hands on the ground or you can put them right on your knees. Good. And let's stay over here on the right side. Right leg bent, left leg is straight. Good job. And walk it over to the other side. Switch it over, left leg is bent, right leg is straight. Beautiful. All right, let's take it down to your hands and knees. So just make your way down to the floor. Okay, dropping it to your hands and knees. Okay, I want you to, to put your elbows down on the floor and slowly inch your hands out away from your body until you're reaching your chest to the ground. Okay, pinky finger is on the mat. Your hips are up high and you're pushing your chest down. Okay, you can look up at your thumbs if you would like but if anyone is having trouble with getting into overhead positions for your workouts, this is a stretch I need you to keep doing. Okay, notice the difference in here and here. Okay, I don't want you rounded out. I want your hips up tall, pushing down so you get a really great stretch here in your lats. Good job. Come back into your elbows. Give me your left hand right underneath your body. Open your palm up to the ceiling and let's push and twist. Good 
Good. Keep breathing. Good. Turn your chest back down onto that straight arm. Perfect. Now take that arm that was just under your body and I want you to extend it out to the side. Okay, forearm is down. Try to get your shoulder down and then look away from it. Press and open that chest up. Good, keep pressing, keep opening. Three, two, one, and good job. Let's take it back in. Give me your right hand going right under your body. Drop your shoulder down, press and twist. Great job, you're gonna feel some thoracic rotation here. Good stretch in your shoulder. Keep breathing nice and deep. Good, now go ahead and take your chest, turn it down to the ground facing your arm. Big press. So you've got your arm crossed under and you're diving your chest in towards it. There you go, take that arm out from under your body, reach it out to the side, look away and press open. Beautiful, come back into your hands and knees. How you feeling? Good? All right, let's go with some hip rotations. Okay, forward and nice and high. Good, and as you drop your belly down, big deep breath in. Look up and then exhale as you tuck your chin and lift your spine. And again. Perfect, go ahead and come back to the middle. Walk your hands out a couple steps and drop your hips down. Great job. Big press up. Some good pressure in your low back. Keep breathing. That's it, and if you need to drop this down a little bit, if that's too much, you're on your elbows. Okay, still pressing up. Don't worry about flexing and holding yourself. I just want you to push away from the ground, whatever level you're at. Okay, everyone go ahead and drop it down. Relax for just a second. Okay, let your low back relax. I like to just kind of shake my legs or my hips side to side. Good relaxation. Good, hands back under your shoulders. Let's push up. There you go, if this is pretty tight, I need you to keep doing this, these things like this, <laughs> okay? Turn over your left shoulder, look back, put a little pressure on that left lower back. And come back and switch, good job, I'm here for you. Great job, tuck your toes. And come on back to your knees. I want you to press into the ground and lift your hips up. Okay, so if you need to walk in a little bit, that's fine. All right, firstly, just come into that pike position. So drop your ears between your biceps. Good, let's shift all the weight over onto our right foot. Heel down, good calf stretch. Perfect, switch it over to the left leg. Heel down, good calf stretch. Back over to the right foot, good job. Heel down, and then stretch away. Good, switch it back over to the left leg.
Good, slowly walk back to your toes. All right, toes are right in front of your hands. If your legs are bent, that's okay. I want you to grab your hands right behind your calves and pull your chest towards your legs. Okay, if your legs are bent, I want you to come up a little bit higher and then try to straighten your legs out. Okay, so decrease the fold by coming up a little higher. Okay, and then straighten your legs. If you're down low, I want you to grab behind your legs, pull closer. Good. Walk your hands around to the back of your right heel. Good. Come back into the middle. Good job. Walk it back around to your left heel. And back into the middle. Good job. I want you to scoot your left foot back just a little bit. Okay. Shift your weight back into that left foot. Okay. And then again, come over to your front heel, your right heel. All right. There you go. If you need to widen it out a little bit, that's okay. But with this, I want you to feel a good glute stretch in your back leg. Great job. Come back into the middle, both feet together, and let's take your right foot back. Okay, as you take your right foot back, walk it over outside of your front leg, and you're gonna find this stretch is gonna hit all down the side of your glute in the back. Okay, make sure all the weight is in this back foot. Great job, let's hit that one more time, okay? So right leg is out front, left leg is out back. Shift your weight to the left leg. Walk it over to your front heel. And what that does is it shifts your hips out to the back side. Okay, so you should feel this good stretch here. Good, step back up and together, and let's switch feet, okay? Weight goes into the back leg, you walk around to the front leg, outside ankle. Amazing, come on into the middle, both feet again. Bend your knees and slowly roll up to the top. How you feeling? Good? Okay, grab onto a wall if you need to. We're gonna go into a quad stretch here. There we go. Pulling your heel to your glute. You wanna make sure after you pull your heel to your glute, you're still not bent here, but you're pulled, stretched open, nice and tall in your spine. Good, pull a little bit more. Beautiful, easy release. Good, all right, let's switch it over to the other leg. Same thing, if you need to grab onto a wall, go ahead. Okay, grab, pull your hips up under, and pull that heel high. Good job, think of a tall spine and a heel that's trying to get as close to your glute as you can. Good job. And release, good. Pull your left arm across your body. Keep your chest straight, keep your hips straight so it's not here. Okay, straighten it up. There you go. And play with your neck a little bit going forward, backward, or away from that shoulder. Good, come back into the middle. Let's switch arms, same thing. Straighten out your hips, good. Mm -hmm. 
Nice job, keep pulling. There you go, take it up over top. I want you to grab onto your left wrist with your right hand, pull up and over. Great job, and I hope you're feeling so good. Upper body, lower body, core. And back up to the top, let's switch arms. Good, keep breathing. And come back up into the middle. Okay, let's throw your hand on your hip. Left hand is holding your right hip. Okay, as you hold onto the hip, drop your shoulder, relax it towards the ground. Grab onto your head, gentle pull. Good, grab onto the back of your head here and pull down and forward. Good job. All right, and let's switch sides. So right arm grabs onto your left hip. Take this left arm, pull your head over to the left. Straight over. Make sure you're relaxing your shoulder. Good, reach back a little bit towards the back of your head. Pull your chin down towards your armpit or your chest. Great job. Ah, I love that stretch. All right, back in the middle, I want you to pull your fingers back towards your elbow. Okay, I'm trying to hit the big muscles here, the, the muscles that I hear the most questions about or the joints that are surrounded by the muscles that are most often tight. Okay, go ahead and flip your hand from here. Over, pull back. Good job, you should feel this one all up on top of your arm, good. There we go, all right, let's switch hands. Open your left hand towards the floor. Pull your fingers back toward your elbow. Great job, release your hand. Go ahead and flip your fingers down towards the floor and big pull. Good job. Anyone else feeling really good right here right now? Me too. <laughs> oh, I love this upper body stretches. We just don't take enough time to do them, right? We think about legs and glutes and hips and back, and then we start to get these little pains in our wrists or in our elbows or our shoulders or our neck, right? Pay attention to those. Great job. I want you to take your fingertips out front one arm at a time, open and come back in, okay? Big open reach, notice how I'm twisting. I come back in, let's open up the chest right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do the same thing on the other side, okay? Reach back, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take your hands, clasp them right behind your back together. Okay, and I want you to shove your hands down to the floor as you look up. Okay, opening your chest up. And relax, good. Hands in front together, rounding your back out. Push towards the floor. Okay, bend your knees one at a time. I love this for the mid to lower back. Bend your knees left and right. And as you bend, your straight leg should feel the stretch on the side, okay? So if my right leg is straight, I should feel the stretch in my right back, right middle and lower back muscles. Good, keep pushing down to the floor. Straight leg, 
and now start to lean over toward your bent leg. There we go. Feel it loosening up a little bit. Good job, there we go. 15 more seconds, you should be getting closer and closer to the floor, to some relaxed back muscles. And bend your knees, slowly roll back up to the top. Big deep breath in. And you have made it to the end of your 20 minute sore muscle stretch. I know I feel so much better now, guys. I hope you do as well. And I hope most importantly, this isn't just a one-time thing for you. It's a three times a week minimum thing for you where you pay attention to how am I standing? How am I sitting? How do my workouts feel when I first jump into them? Okay, I want you to feel mobile and I want you to feel like you can move your body through the full ranges of motion, not because you are trying to get this X amount of reps in, but because you feel good. Your limbs, your joints, your muscles, they feel good. Okay, so I want you to feel that all the time. And if I can give you this 20 minutes where you can immediately benefit in your body, I want you to take it and I want you to use it for yourself, okay? So I will see you back here tomorrow. Thank you for spending this time with me. Hope you feel better. Don't forget before you head out, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and share it with your friend. And I'll be back tomorrow. Bye guys.